please welcome Scott Eastwood. I think I'll have to check with the judges, but I think that might be the fastest a guest has ever come out here. Yeah, that's a new land speed record for our stage. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, nice to meet you. Um, let me just yeah. go a little bit over the CV here. You're an actor. You've modeled. You yeah. surf. Uh, lots of shirtless pictures of you on the internet. You've got an adorable dog named Freddy. You publicly admitted to crying during the notebook. You fly a helicopter. Are you auditioning uh, to be the next Bachelor? Because <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that people—that's the kind of stuff that people make up on a resume. Busted. I mean, you know, The Bachelor. That's yeah. That's every man's dream. It is. To be, to be on a show with 20 women competing over you. Sure. That would be great. Yeah. I, you know, a big old greased-up meat slab. <laughs> Was meat slab? No. Look at no. this. Um, this is a this is a fantastic picture. This is you and your dad on yeah. the cover of the new Esquire, just hitting the stands right now. Thank you. Thanks. Did you live with your dad as a teenager? I did until I pissed him off. Yeah. 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 What's it like to piss this man off? Because um, uh, he, he just has a look that would like sterilize a frog at 50 paces. <laughs> What was it like to get in trouble with this fella? It's kind of like when you see him in Gran Torino say, get off my lawn, but with his hands around your throat. But, but only because he loves you, right? Oh, he's got love. Can you, can you give me the stare? Can you, can you scare the hell out? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's it. The little head move, too. The little head move, the little head move says, did you notice I was looking at you? <laughs> um, well, now you're in Suicide Squad, yeah. working with David Ayer, who you would worked with before on Fury. Yeah. It was a great movie. Brutal movie to work on, I'm imagining. Yeah, I mean, we all, you're not, not that brutal, not like actually going to war. No, but he runs but... like boot camps, like he physical does. and psychological torture. Yeah, he's, he, I think he likes to torture his actors. I'm not sure why I came back for a, a second round of torturing. Did they actually, did you guys have to go through extensive training for Suicide Squad? Like, the we David did. Ayer's boot camp? Yeah, we did. We, uh, you know, he, he likes to put his actors through, uh, like you said, and we, I was playing a, a, a spec ops guy in the, you know, in the movie, and at one point he had a, you know, he had a sleep deprivation for 72 hours. What? Yeah. And then he had us sneaking around houses in the t greater Toronto area. <laughs> and, and looking back at it now, I we could have gotten arrested. I think that's illegal. I'm pretty sure it is. Was this just to make you seem tired? Why do you keep somebody up for 72 hours? Because just give the man a toddler. You'll be fa <laughs> you know, tired faster than that. Do you? That's, a, yeah. that's also good. Yeah, birth was, it, control. was it useful? Did it bond you guys? Did it make you feel like a team because you were all suffering at the same time? Yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of suffering together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Margot Robbie on the show, and she said she has her own tattoo gun. And that she yeah. was tattooing uh, the word squad, S K W A D, yeah. on people. Uh -huh. um, did she uh, approach you about getting the squad tattoo? You know, no. No. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Will and I, I stayed away from that. I saw Will was given the tattoos out, but uh, I said, well, that's a, that just run away from that trailer. So, no, no tattoo for you? No, no, no. Do you have any tattoos? No, no. My dad was sort of old school. and. I, I remember my sister coming home one time with a tattoo and him saying, well, why the hell did you do that? <laughs> and so, I said, oh, I'm not getting a tattoo. Okay. <laughs> so this is, yeah. this is older sister. Uh, the older, older and younger, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you learn to be good by watching your brothers and sisters <laughs> up? Because I think that's a great to say thing. That on air? I like no, that. I'm not allowed to say that. I, I like actually that. just, I think what I did was I just <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here hey. for my last show. God, I can do that. <laughs>
No, I guess what I'm asking is that, like, I think younger brothers or even younger brothers and sisters learn to, like, get around parents by watching how the older brothers and sisters get in trouble. That's true. I was very sneaky. Mm -hmm. I was very sneaky. So I, I, I got away with a lot. Are there things that, like, your folks don't know you did that e even now you're like, I don't know how to tell them that? Uh, <clears throat> okay. No. Shall we turn? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Now you're also you're in the new Fast and Furious coming out, Furious Eight, right? I am. Okay. I am. It's uh, yeah. Are yeah. you are you a car guy? Or like, have you always loved cars? Yeah, classic cars. I've always been a fan of classic. What cars. was your first car? <laughs> well, that's a good. That's an interesting story. Uh, I actually asked my dad. I remember when I was in college uh, for a loan. I think it was for about seven or eight grand for uh, for a truck. I had a job at the time, and. Uh, he said, no. And uh, so then I had, I remember getting uh, a deal on a, uh, a 91 Ford Crown Vic, which is, for people who don't know, is, is an old police car. Sure, sure. Uh, not that sexy. Not that sexy, no. Mm -hmm. uh, the trunk didn't close, so uh, I used a bungee cord. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was nice, you know, this for dates. Your first, this is your first car? That was my first car. I had a 1978 powder blue uh, Pinto. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's good. I got all the girls who walk yeah. by yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scott, thanks true. so much for being here. Hey, it's lovely for to meet me. you. Yeah. Good luck with the new movie. Hey. Suicide Let's Squad is in theaters this Friday. Scott Eastwood, everybody. We'll be right back.